In this video, we'll look at whether magnesium bromide, that's MgBr2, forms ionic or covalent bonds. The easiest way to do that is figure out whether magnesium and bromine are metals or nonmetals. So if we look at the periodic table divided into metals and nonmetals, we're looking for magnesium, which is right here. That's a metal. So magnesium is a metal. Bromine over here, that's a nonmetal. When we have a metal and a nonmetal, that usually forms an ionic bond. So magnesium bromide, MgBr2, would have an ionic bond between the magnesium and the bromine atoms. When we look at the periodic table, magnesium is in group 2. That means it has a 2 plus ionic charge. Bromine is in group 17, sometimes called 7A. That has a 1 minus ionic charge. So you can see we need two bromine atoms to balance out the 2 plus on the magnesium ion. Because we have positives and negatives, they attract each other. These ions are attracted to each other, and that's why it's an ionic bond. This is Dr. B answering the question whether MgBr2 is ionic or covalent. It is ionic. Thanks for watching.